aspiration for East Exchange was that it would connect people, people who are isolated in our community. There was a lot of loneliness within the community. East Exchange was a stepping stone for those people to come and interact with others. And a way of doing that was by sharing different skills that they had. So my aspiration was that we would start connecting some of our residents with each other and create a social network. I believe people are incredible with what they can achieve. People just need a bit of motivation and encouragement to give them that push to be able to do what they want. Through East Exchange, we've seen so many of our members grow and become confident people, and it's been a real honor to be a part of that journey with them. Some of the personal highlights for me like include things like our members. We've got so many amazing members. All of them collectively together is what make our project work. The members' journeys have been absolutely amazing and they should all be really, really proud of themselves and where they've got to. I never really felt a part of a community and I think that's for me, that was the start of my journey with East Exchange. It made me feel a part of a community where I was valued. East Exchange has made a difference in my life. Um, it's just brought me into contact with lots of people. By meeting everybody here, it's just sort of got me back into the kind of society again, got into like an environment. Even some things that I do here are quite professional. Um, and that's made me feel, yeah, get on getting back to my own self again. There's been some very good friendships made with all different types of people, different religions, you know, and we've all learned about each other, which has been really inspiring. One of the people that I've met who's been very ill and been on a really difficult journey, um, it's a man. And um, I just feel that, you know, I like to spend time with him and ask him how his day is and, and really ask about him, how he's feeling. And when I see him turning up, it always makes me want to smile. I'm always waiting for Tuesday and Thursday. If any session cancel or anything, or if I can't turn up, it's so sad day because I miss the activity and the day. East Exchange gave me the opportunity of training, so I put in myself as a leader. So I'm thinking of going ahead of leading in future the exercise session. Because of East Exchange, I go like more confident and more my personality come out. So I'm quite confident to leading myself to any session. I go like uh, before I didn't know I got this much skill, and all skill East Exchange take you out. And I take in, I'm happy to take responsibility leading the session. I know how to handle the people. I know sometimes it accidentally happen, then how can we handle the scenario? And I'm quite confident, so I'm not feeling like scared or I'm you know, happy to like lead the session and every taking responsibility. And end of the day, I go, I know the, who is in the community and I go big group of friends now. <laughs> Basically, each text and take out my character. So I'm so proud and happy. <laughs> People just don't expect me to be the sewer. What with the skinhead and the tattoos and the, the jewellery and whatever. And when I was introduced as the new sewer, it was read deathly silent. And that's ba <laughs> that was basically how it all started. And, um, but since that day, um, I got on so well with all the women, most all the women, I got on well with it. There were some of them who I used to talk to, um, who kind of told me sort of things, they, even like personal problems or whatever they had. They used to come and explain to me about it and all that, but they just wanted someone to talk to. I was happy to listen, they was happy to talk, and we all relaxed after that. It was all friendly, that was the main thing. I felt quite happy with it, quite happy. I'm well, very happy actually. Being part of East Exchange has made me find it easier to talk to other people and um, I 
then walk along the street, you get people so bellow and all that. Um, that's helped me helping other people as well, which I think is one of the most important things. This has helped me, the ladies have helped me, and this has helped me to find that well, you're a valid person too in this world. Yeah, you can be yourself and other people, maybe it's a bit of validation. Somebody recognizes the, what you can do, you know, values it. Anything that you do for yourself or you do with people with love, it has a greatness of well-being, it really makes you feel free. For me, it's been an exchange of ideas and having a place, a space, where I can just give as much of me as I want or as little of me as I want and not get judged. You don't have to have uh, education or degrees after your name or, you know, it's just for that ordinary person and I think Especially if you've been a mother, you're always concentrating on your family. So with this exchange, it sort of gets you to stop and think, well, yes, family is important, but there's also you in it, because you can get lost. I also find places like this exchange um, reinvigorated my zest for life, because you still, you meet other people and the community, East End, the community is the best, to be honest, you know. So East End has brought me back to the community, shall I say. I used to come to the coffee morning and we used to talk and uh, we exchange ideas. The skills I have, the, the sort of skills other people have. And um, Luta thought, since I have been art skills, I have a level in art and GCSE. I might want to do something art related. And she put me to a project uh, that's completely new to me because I've never run a project like this, in like art project before. It takes a lot of courage, but Luther's been very supporting and she's always been there for me from day one. And uh, so she's been like a mentor along the way. So she helped me. Apart from enjoying different activities, going to different events that's um, organized by East Exchange, I, I was able to get some confidence to do some little things for myself personally, even to go out for shopping, for example. I usually don't do much, except if someone else uh, goes out with me. But last time I remember, <laughs> I went to Stratford and uh, to get uh, to buy a dress for our Westminster trip and alhamdulillah that was uh, like I, I was able to do that choose a dress for myself like all by myself no pressure no stress just like I felt free and at peace that time I started coming to a coffee afternoon so I needed something to go I was a bit lonely and depressed and I realised I had to start doing something. So I've always been sort of turned away from friendships because I don't know how to deal with them. But I started coming and slowly made friends that I've still got. I've used the launching pad to different things in the centre and I've had a fantastic time because I'm more confident now. I've never believed I'd have the confidence to do something like run a children's book swap club. Projects like East Exchange should be everywhere to help people, even in a busy city like London. You need people need something to do, somewhere to go. Going to shopping centres, it's faceless. You don't know anyone. You, just walking around, you need something to do.